Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Sunday, October 5th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. A G1 geomagnetic storm is expected for October 7th and the 8th. Buckle up and keep calm. It's boom time. Record heat, mountain snow, and severe weather expected. October is known to bring extreme temperatures and, for some, winter weather. From heat in the east to mountain snow out west, travelers need to be aware of some big weather pattern changes in the future. And here they are, warmer than normal in the east, colder than normal in the west. And sharply cooler Monday and wetter Monday as well in Nebraska. Kiss my... There you can see that line of storms bringing that cool weather behind it. The cold front is behind this front, and it will be moving east. There are no severe weather warnings, so just mild weather on this front. And now the full forecast. Heavy rain continues in Florida. Cold front brings thunderstorms and showers to the central U.S. Scattered areas of heavy rain continue to produce isolated flash flooding across the Florida Peninsula. Anomalous moisture will combine with the cold front and will bring heavy rain and scattered flash flooding across the Mid-South, Ohio, and Tennessee Valleys today and Tuesday. Above average temperatures will continue to be found ahead of the cold front, but frost and freeze warnings are imminent for the West. Take a look at that. All of North Dakota under frost and freeze warning, except one county. How do you like them apples? Here is the GFS model, and we're going to show you that snow falling right now in Wyoming. And that front will move east, and we'll move all the way to the east coast here by Wednesday. Some tropical activity in the Pacific, a one-two punch there, dissipating. But something is going to be hitting uh, the peninsula there. And make its way on to the U.S. and bring heavy rain to the Four Corners region in the desert southwest. Good news for moisture there. And look at all the snow associated with this. This is October 14th, 15th, still far out. But this could be a very good pattern bringing much needed moisture to the west. Let's take a look at the total snowfall. That's looking pretty good through mid-October. For the ski resorts... And let's look at total accumulated precipitation to see where all the moisture is going to be going. Here is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The east is going to be pummeled. We're going to see some flooding in West Virginia, as well as Kentucky and maybe even Tennessee. And as we head into mid-October, a really good moisture pattern for the west. Seismic update. No real quakes of note. Some Major activity uh, near Svalbard on the mid-ocean ridge there with multiple aftershocks. Let's take a look at that. The initiating quake was a 5.2. Who knew? Now you do. Camp Chakta continues to rumble with five magnitude or greater aftershocks after that major 8.8 .8 quake. And we do have a big rumbler here in Asia, a 5.4 in Kyrgyzstan. I'm sure that rumbled some nerves. Worldwide Volcano News, Canleon today with a 10,000 foot blast there. Semadu, who knew, now you do 14,000 foot blast. Popo, possible, legit volcanic ash. 14,000 foot blast at Reventador. Fuego, volcanic ash was detected. Nevado de Ruiz, volcanic ash detected. Ibu. 7,000 foot puff there. Liwa Toby, no numbers. Sun Gay, no volcanic ash seen. Samaru, who knew, now you do 14,000 foot blast. Popo, no volcanic ash. Raventador to 14,000 feet. Fuego to 15,000. Liwa Toby, volcanic ash was reported. Santa Guito to 13,000 feet. Sun Gay to 23,000. That's a big boom. Fuego to 16,000, Can Leon on the list, and Liwotolo to 7,000, Ibu, 7,000 foot puff there, 20,000 feet for Nevada de Ruiz, Santa Guito, volcanic cloud has dissipated. Semeru to 14,000, wrapping up the list for Worldwide Volcano News for the day, and bringing us to space weather. We've got some coronal holes, 
uh, a really interesting sun. Coronal Hall 85 could bring us some problems in eight or nine days as far as geomagnetic storming. The big news is on the plasma filament, and the detailed forecast is showing us G1 minor geomagnetic storming through the next two days, October 7th and the 8th. Let's look at uh, WSA annual spiral here. That is in the wrong position. You can see the spike there, and you can see the filament leaving here on the 3rd, headed our way with the glancing blow on the 7th. So that is telemetry, and we're sticking with it. Full harvest supermoon makes a rare October appearance. Let's hope for clear skies Monday night as we will want to see a nice celestial event, a full harvest supermoon. That's a full harvest supermoon boom. The full harvest moon is the full moon that occurs closest to the autumnal equinox, which happened last month. Usually, the harvest moon is in September, but this year it's October. It has the closest full moon on Monday at 11.48 p.m. So get out and look up at the spectacle. And one of the most beautiful meteor showers of 2025 just began, according to NASA, and it can be seen across the U.S. With moonless skies and a rare glimpse of an elusive comet, the 2025 Orionid meteor showers is shaping up to be one of the best in our lifetimes. An awe-inspiring celestial show is headed to Earth, and you can still get a front row seat, folks. The Orionid meteor shower happens once a year when Earth travels through debris left behind by the extraterrestrial icon Halley's Comet when it soared through the sky in 1986. In fact, Lee and I just talked about this in our last podcast on magnetic reversal news. The Orionids shooting stars are particularly bright and fast with glowing trails that can last from several seconds to minutes. And they're considered to be one of the most beautiful showers of the year. The enchanting spectacle peaks in late October. And thanks to the moon's 2025 phases, this year's climax is expected to be one of the most luminous on record. Orionid meteors will have the spotlight to themselves as the moon darkens from Earth while entering a new phase on October 21st. So mark your calendars and get out on the 21st. And look up. And have you looked up at gold? Holy macaroni. All new time highs happening right now. Almost $4,000 an ounce. Why haven't you listened to us? Why Gold Co., the industry leader from precious metal IRAs to direct purchases of gold and silver? Holy macaroni. They've helped thousands of Americans to diversify their per and protect their retirements. Request your free 2025 gold and silver kit now. There's no obligation, and there are no penalties from shifting from regular stock market IRAs to precious metal ones. No penalties. It's all win, especially the way gold and silver has been moving in the last few years. Buckle up, Buttercup. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and be safe. We love you, and that is a boom. Nee, nee, nee.